Manhunt for the PlayStation 2, created by Rockstar Games, who is notorious for making great games such as Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2 as well. The game Manhunt revolved around a man named James Earl Cash, who I thought was a fucking badass. He's sentenced to death, but is um is instead given a, uh, a sleeping pill of sorts because of a man named Lionel Starkweather. Starkweather wanted James Earl Cash to be the man to star in his snuff films, and throughout the game, James Earl Cash murders ra random hunters who I guess had been hired to track down and hunt down James Earl Cash, but in the end they fail and James Earl Cash kills Starkweather. So naturally, we want a Manhunt 2. Well, Manhunt 2 was announced. So eventually, Rockstar Games announced the release of Manhunt 2, which is scheduled for a July release. And Manhunt 2 did not follow the uh, the script for Manhunt uh, 1. James Earl Cash would also not be appearing in Manhunt 2, which I think is gay, because I thought James Earl Cash was the fucking man. Now, however, there was a big problem with Manhunt 2. It got a fucking adult-only rating, which basically means that Sony and Nintendo refused to allow the game to be sold on their consoles. Now, I think it's just fucking retarded. I mean... Who the hell are they to tell me that I can't play a fucking game? I mean, I'm not five years old anymore, goddammit. I should be allowed to choose what games I can and cannot fucking play. I think I could take some violence, goddammit. So this banning left Rockstar Games in a huge pile of shit. How the fuck were they gonna do this? They couldn't release the game? So they decided to, um, turn down the game a bit, which I think is gay. So IGN basically announced that uh, the, ma the way Manhunt 2 was toned down was that the animations of the killing sequences were um, toned down a bit. The graphics were made darker and there was a blur effect. So that way the gamer couldn't really tell what was going on but they still were able to hear the victim squealing and yelling and shit, which I think is fucking gay. Now, I buy Manhunt for, for the killing sequences, so what the fuck? I was supposed to guess what the hell is happening? Rockstar Games is pretty much notorious for pushing the limits of video games with violent executions such as Manhunt. Manhunt caused a lot, a lot of controversy. But, that's to be expected. I mean, this guy is a fucking, like, serial killer. I mean, just fucking look at him. You wouldn't, you have to expect something like this from him. He's being hunted down by a shitload of fucking hunters and let to fend for himself. I mean, what the fuck else is he gonna do? Of course there's gonna be a lot of violence in this fucking game. So it's bullshit that they're fucking censoring the kills in Manhunt 2. It's just a load of shit. Bottom line, you simply cannot have a Manhunt game without gruesome kills. That's what Manhunt is known for. That's what it's notorious for. People buy Manhunt games for the gruesome kills. And if I can't tell what the fuck is going on, if I can't see myself killing the fucking character, that's fucking gay. Those are my thoughts. I just want to close out this video by saying that yes, I will be getting Manhunt 2. I'll be getting for the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation Portable. But I just think it's fucking horseshit that they decided to tone down the, the killing sequences. But I guess that should be expected since after all, that's probably what warranted the AL rating anyway. But I think it's bullshit that, that like, they, they are determining whether or not I can play a fucking game. It's bullshit. It's not like I'm five years old. I know I said that before, but then I'll say it again. I'm not five years old. I'm I'm a fu I'm not even a teenager anymore. I'm I'm a fucking adult for God's sakes. I think I could choose what I can take and what I cannot take. I think it's a load of shit that they just have to fucking basically censor it. Well, those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching.